to my husband, John Trey Christopher Harris. I never imagined this day would happen for me. On January the 15th, you came into my life at a time where love wasn't on my mind. I thank God for bringing you into my life. I've learned so much over the last two years, and I'm so appreciative for you loving me for who I am and never judging me. The future belongs to us. There's not a day I want to go without you in my life. My lover, my husband, and most importantly, my best friend. I love you. Who knew that January the 14th, 2018, would have changed my life forever? I met my best friend. I met my soulmate. Total opposites, but yet so compatible. Odell Jr., I love you. I love you dearly. And this journey that we're about to embark, it may not be all peaches and cream, but it will be worth your while because I am gonna be the best that I could be, at my best that I could be, even doing my worst. I love you. Meant to be Tennessee Love Story, Slaughter Gang Gang Gang. Today is a good day. As your husband, I vow to always protect you, love you, even when you get on my nerves. <laughs> because it's the responsibility that is going down today. I'm so happy to have you a part of my life, your family, everything. I love you for who you are, and we got a long life. To go. I love you. Odell, from day one seeing you walking through that pageant door, I was like, oh, who is here with this green sweater? But it was just like something about your swag, your walk, the way you carried yourself just attracted me. Who knew that one night could last to, end, to turn to forever? That one night turned to my shining armor. I'm glad that God blessed me with you and I thought to always protect you, love you, and, you know, cook you that good food. That part. <laughs> yeah. Forever and always, I love you. Love you too. Love will last for eternity. Odell and John Trey, before these witnesses, you have pledged to be joined in marriage. You have sealed this pledge with your wedding ring. You may now seal this ceremony with a kiss. I introduce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mr. Odell Jones. You know, some friendships, you know, they uh, 
they be seasonal. And a lot of friendships, you know, you they they everlasting. 2014, I lost like a big a big person in my life. And none of my old friends, you know, they they didn't show up. But dude, Odell really showed up for me, like when nobody else was there. Like, this is an everlasting friend, and I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you're happy. I'm happy that you got Ashton, you know what I'm saying? Because he a German now, you know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying? We lit, but you know. <laughs> I'm going to try to get through this the best way I can. I didn't prepare anything. <clears throat> so when I first met Odell, he was so rude to me. I met him at the club, and they said, Odell, this is Jonathan. Odell said, <laughs> I was like, oh, wow. I said, I'm going to make him talk to me. So he started coming down to Jackson a lot, doing pageants with his. And I was like, I'm going to make him speak to me. Because if y'all don't know, he has a name in the community. He is somebody. So <laughs> I was like, I got to get him to speak to me. So we finally started talking and hanging out. And I guess we just clicked because he just started calling, I started calling, and just became like best friends overnight. So I love you so much. I'm so happy you met Ashton. I love you both. Thank you, because I am drunk. Y'all, so <laughs> while we're here, <laughs> let me tell y'all about the time I had to go get Odile out of jail. So it was, <laughs> girl. <laughs> All right, y'all give it up for him. Y'all give it up, y'all give it up. That means clap, people, it's free. You don't have to pay for that. Very good. I came way from Florida for this crybaby. I'm glad it's over. I met Ashton, or Trey, years ago. I was a judge on a judge panel, and he came down with his dance team. And I'm the strictest judge on the panel. He trying to shoot me the eye to flirt so he can get some extra points. <laughs> I'm looking. They end up winning or whatever. And um, at the end, he came up. Well, our dad, we called my dad, he not here. He came up, he like, you my brother. Make a long story short, he a crybaby. I got to deal with it every day, all day. I feel so bad for them, but I be helping you because I be like, Ashton, no, be quiet. If you wrong, this is that, this, and when he don't want to hear, he get off the phone. I'll call you back. But um, I'm happy for y'all. Marriage is a beautiful thing, and um, we're going to be some work. I knew Ashton from when I won, what was that, South Florida Extravaganza? Extravaganza was screwed. Needed a ride to the bus station. This child came, picked me up, took me to the bus station. The first thing that came to my mind was like, damn, he's just so aggressive. He was so mean and had a hard exterior. But again, he 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 told me, he was like, you know, I'm gonna do pageants, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Bazi bazi ba. I didn't take it for nothing. Fast forward to present day. One thing that stuck with me was the fact that he told me that he looked up to me. And it's so crazy how the world works. Because now at this moment, I'm looking up to him. <laughs> Any other married couples in the house make some noise? It's a few of y'all. Everybody else look around. Shot time. <laughs> I ain't married. Can't keep a dude for 30 days. <laughs> These boys ain't loyal. <laughs>